Now we'll assemble the DeWalt DW660 spindle mount. Start by putting V-wheels onto the provided screws, followed by aluminum spacers. Then stick these screws through the plate and attach them with nuts. You'll notice again there are two sizes of holes for accepting V-wheels on this plate. Smaller ones for nylock hex nuts and larger ones for eccentric nuts. Be sure you use nylock nuts on the smaller holes. And eccentric nuts on the larger holes. When you thread on the eccentric nut, make sure that the shoulder is facing the plate so that it can be seated in the larger hole. Tighten all of these connections, again making sure that the shoulder of the eccentric nut is seated in the larger hole. And then position the eccentric nuts so that the screw that is captured by them is as far from the V-wheel with the nylock nut as possible. This opens the gap between the V-wheels, making it easier to slide onto the Z-axis maker slide. Next, we'll attach the actual clamp to this plate. Thread screws through the back side of the plate into the threaded holes of the clamp. Start by getting these connections finger tight, and then tighten them down with the wrench. Be sure that the clamp is aligned square to the plate. Slide the plate onto the Z-axis. If you're having trouble, check the orientation of your eccentric nuts. Line the top holes of the plate with the Delrin nut and secure with two screws. Again, get the screws finger tight first and then wrench them down. Now take your DeWalt and place it inside of the clamp. It should fit snugly. Put the front part of the clamp over the spindle and thread the long screws with lock washers through the front part of the clamp into the back side. Tighten them down finger tight first and then evenly with the wrench. alternating screws until both are as tight as you can get them.